All right, guys, so let's take a look at this question using the calculation for distance or the equation for distance. And it's first of all asks us to write down the equation which links distance traveled, speed, and time. So usually the equation, they give it in the order that it's there. You have the formula sheet available, so don't be afraid to look at it. I'm going to put it in short form in the letters they've given. Distance or S equals speed V multiplied by the time T. So S equals V times T is enough for that mark. The second question says, the conveyor belt moves the can at a speed of 1.7 meters per second. Calculate the time taken to move the can 3.3 meters at this speed and give your answer to two significant figures. So I'm going to underline the key points we are given, what we need to find out, and then we can work out the answer from there. So firstly, the speed, 1.7 meters per second, they've given us that. They've then also told us the distance is 3.3 meters. Yeah? And then they've asked us to calculate the time taken and give your answer to two significant figures. So we have the equation we've just written down at the top, S equals V times T, but they want us to calculate the time taken. They want us to find T, so we're gonna to have to rearrange the equation. So if S equals V times T, I rearrange that to give me T equals S over V, or time equals distance over speed. Now I'll use the numbers they've given, so that is 3.3 for the distance, and that is in meters, so we're okay there, divided by the speed, 1.7, which is also in its standard unit of meters per second. So I put those together, I get an answer of 1.941 seconds. Now that is only three of the marks. The fourth mark is the important point, give your answer to two significant figures. If you don't follow this, you do lose this mark, so it's an easy mark to get make sure you don't miss it out. So 1.941 to two significant figures is just the first two numbers there, so 1.9, and there you have it.